Hello and welcome back to another video. In this problem, we're asked to show that the function is continuous on all real numbers, where we have f of x is equal to x to the fourth times sine of one over x if x is not equal to zero, and zero if x is equal to zero. So basically, what we have here is a piecewise function. And we know because this is a combination of polynomial, trigonometric, and rational functions, and here is just constant. We know, based off of prior theorems that we've had in this section, that f of x is continuous over its domain within each of these um, functions. And we have to note that that is an open domain, not a closed domain, because f is defined over all real numbers. But we can say it's continuous if x is not equal to zero. So this is the um, interval from negative infinity to zero not inclusive and from zero to infinity inclusive. So if we had negative infinity to zero not inclusive, we would have to turn this into a parentheses from a bracket. But since it's not, we just leave it as it is. So we know f is continuous on these two intervals. However, we can't say that at zero itself, because that is where it switches between the pieces of this piecewise function, we cannot say that the function is continuous at x equals to zero, so we have to show that separately. So, uh, function is continuous at point a if the limit as x approaches a of f of x is equal to f of a. Right, so in this case, the limit as x approaches zero of f of x is equal to f of zero. So f of zero equals zero. So we need to show that the limit as x approaches f of x is equal to zero. So when we're not at zero, when we're approaching zero, we need to use x to the fourth times sine of one over x. So does the limit as x approaches zero of x to the fourth times the sine of one over x equals zero? What does this equal to? Well, we can say that this is equal to the limit of x to the fourth times the limit of sine of 1 over x. So the limit as x approaches 0 of x to the fourth, that's just 0 to the fourth. And what I'm going to do here is something that is uh, technically not uh, mathematically sound, but I'm going to do it to prove one. We're going to plug in 0 here. Now we can't do that because we would be dividing by 0, but we're not actually going to calculate anything. We're just going to have 0 to the fourth times sine of 1 over 0. And what does this mean? Well, we're not taking values of uh, sine at 1 over 0 itself, right? We're taking it as x approaches 0. And as x approaches 0, 1 over 0 goes from like 1 over 0 0.1 to 1 over 0 0.01, 1 over 0 0.01, uh, right? This becomes 10, 100, 1,000, right? It's going off to infinity, right? And so the value that sine is actually taking here is going off to infinity. But it doesn't matter what value of sine we pick here. We know that the limit of this, right? So skipping this step again, um, zero times the limit as x approaches zero of sine of one over x. This um, uh, value, zero times the limit as x approaches zero of sine of 1 over x, we know that this is less than or equal to 0 times the maximum value that sine can have, right? The largest that this can be is uh, 1, right? Because the largest value for any value that we're inputting into sine, the biggest thing that can come out of it is 1. So we have 0 times 1. And it's greater than or equal to the lowest value that this can have, which is, again, negative 1. 0 times negative 1 is 0. Um, we're just going to rewrite this as the limit as x approaches 0 of f of x, since that this, is, this is what this is originally coming from, is less than or equal to 0 times 1 is 0. If it's greater than or equal to 0 and less than or equal to 0, that shows that the limit as of x approaches 0 of f of x equals 0, which equals f of 0, which means that it's also continuous 
at zero, and if it's continuous up to zero, after zero, and at zero, yes, it is continuous over all real numbers, from negative infinity to infinity.